It's going down, agents. As we get this legions of watchdogs assembled, 2.40 is going to be assembling tomorrow, December 10th, roughly around a portionable afternoon. I would assume around early time of 10 Pacific Standard Time. But for most people getting this right now, you're going to get the well, niche of what's going down for as far as the patch highlights. So let's go ahead and hop into it, shall we? My name is Matt here at the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're going to be looking at Watch Dogs Legions, which is going to be coming out with a great update tomorrow for... We'll dub as 1.09. I didn't take a while, I guess, or whatever, PlayStation, Xbox, 10010, off on sequence. Let's get to the patch notes. Let's jump into it, shall we? All right, so... Looking at the highlights as we can already take it from it is Series X and S will finally get some file saves that are going to come down to the more portions of awesomeness for play. Now on top of that we have some retire prestige ops for the ray trace also on top of the AMD GPUs which are probably more than likely our 6000 series for the lucky few that have definitely gotten it leave a comment down below are you part of the PC master race and you happen to have a 6000 series. Do you have those combination of Pokemon inside of your belt of like awesomeness? Leave a comment down below. I'm really curious. But moving on, because this is going to be a long patch note, there are various bug fixes. And what are those various bug fixes? That's why you're here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and roll into it, shall we? As we scroll into the technicals of 2.40 that will be on all platforms again tomorrow, we'll be seeing those roll out and we'll be seeing some pretty cool stuff for as far as the improvements of what they've already gone into. Now a little bit more of the clarity of quality of life, the improvements that will come into the TU 2.40 is more than likely the prestige operatives and all the highlights we went over. The ray tracing will be enabled for as far as that for the tracing compared uh, basically the capacity of what it was lacking in that situation which kind of lame but coming into a little bit more of the global fixes is what we've seen across the board for a lot of systems is that they have added the ability to retire the prestige operatives which will function like a permadeath behavior uh, they will be gone for the remainder of the playthrough and start in the new game with the portion of the operatives in the playthrough Unequipping the button in the store and the not unequipping equipped item. Wow, they made that really cryptically equipped with words, but yeah, enough wordplay. Looking at the situation of what goes down to the fixed issues for skipping the cutscenes, that cutscene will cut to the portion of continuing to play while it's players are regaining control of the player's operative. So on top of that, there are some characters that are going to have some save and loads for as far as the games where the outfits will come into it for as far as the ongoing fixes for the Xbox One at PC and shortly for the PlayStation 4. Uh, looking at the situation for as far as the issues that could be in the reflection to the jetter on the pop of the ray tracing and enabling, on top of the incorrectly applying low resolution textures on the outer wood hoodie item with a synchronization error for the clothing pack the fixed issue also came down for pain in the grenades and the guns on top of that for the not showing up for as far as hitting the items now for specific systems as we kind of scroll down we can see that xbox definitely gets a light load compared to pc as we can see the x and s now finally getting down the portions of what we have is the issues causing the game not to properly save <clears throat> one of the highlights was this is what we're going to be looking into on top of the Xbox One, which gets two additional portions for as far as the game when it crashes while driving and the game crashing while during gameplay, which kind of seems like it's just you could just say gameplay. It seems like it's crashing everything at that point, but maybe there was more obsessive driving. I did some crazy driving PlayStation 5. It was fine. No, nothing against, you know, you know, Microsoft. I mean, seriously, th this console race has been really amazing honestly i like both teams and of course you always got to pay tribute to next gen tpus with the pc master race this is just a fun time for technology so i mean i guess leave a comment down below what are you gaming on if you've come this far coming down to a portion of where we slide back into the patch notes though and we see our pc brethren and sister and seeing that the ray tracing for as far as the capacity of the amd gpus 6000 series now are going to be basically hammered out 
the issues that could be caused for as far as the DirectX 12. And that could have been a lot of Windows stuff too. They've done a lot of big hammering out for as far as the overhauling inside of the newer Windows. I think it's like 2000 H2. So if you're part of that community, I definitely do run patch notes on AMD stuff. So you should check that out. It's pretty cool. Um, and a lot shorter than me explaining in this. But shimmering effects of four as far as the particles for the DLSS when it's enabling. That's more of your NVIDIA for play, which is going to be kind of cool. So maybe you'll kind of get more of a crisp, nice gameplay. I definitely would be like wondering if uh, people are experiencing that because the portion of games that were not launching in Korean locations, just despite the situation of selecting those. On top of that, on the double clicking for as far as the back and tutorial menu, that same sub menu attempted to leave, we see that the several issues that could be caused in the game, they crash due to the UI bug, which was a little bit more haunting around the time of like November going towards the very early of December, hopefully. They ironed that out to go towards more clothing shops which they highlight over the over portion of the button. On top of the situation for the cause, the game's crashing in the interaction of the walkie-talkie during the, I guess, initial missions. So, like, thank goodness they fixed the walkie-talkie system. Uh, looking at the situation for the reorder of the DLS option for as far as the correctly reflecting portion for the... NVIDIA GPUs, which is going to be a little bit more for the, I believe, Shimmer, which is cool. I mean, I've seen it like it's decent on PlayStation 5, but it doesn't look really good, honestly. I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest. It, it It's all right. I mean, I've tried the 60 FPS and it's cool, but for encoding, I want that ray trace and like it just I feel like the water is almost there. But I mean, that's what you get when you're like, you know, dabbling in new technology and new updates. <laughs> the fun about patches uh, looking at the key points of what the uh, not reflecting portions of what they have changed in those components we move on to the DirectX 11 and 12 um, and then back again to the 12 which were crashing apparently uh, if you're toggling those now you can toggle again it should be fine uh, the crashes for as far as the focus and the closing in the Ubisoft connective overlay while the gaming is launching on top of the fixed issues that would come down to the game crash into controls into the drone during the the spider bot takedown sequence, the crashes of the NPC die, the crashes of the minimalization of less than more than five minutes. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty shitty crash. No offense, but that's like five minutes to like boom. No, no, thank you. Looking at the photo mode, which was located in the save and the upload for as far as the cloud and the player's map of par four. Yes, aimed and fired for as far as the key binding portion was happening also on top of the crash locations in the open world for the new saving playstation 4 gets a pretty decent list as well as playstation 5 as we come down to the very end of what is going to be tu 2.40 PlayStation 4 comes down to the fixes for as far as what could be utilized inside the game to crash when the game was launching. The additional memory optimization and the improving inside of the game stabilization and the fixed issues that could be caused inside of the error and the upload failed to be shown when uploading the saves. The cloud while on the upload state for its actual success. <laughs> Crazy, right? That was a conundrum. Uh, added the portion of additional fixes that could be utilized in issues that caused the game to crash while quitting the menu and the issue where it came down to the portion of leaving the idle pool I guess system for 15 minutes and just didn't like that on top of that fix where we come down to where it could be crashed inside of the occurring portion of human error and mission on top oh cool that's it I, I actually was having a little bit of an issue with that cool I'm really excited to get back to that Yay, tomorrow. Yay. Anyways, um, fix the issue for as far as the bright reflecting portion of the dynamic sun. Oh, okay, cool. Th th those are two big fixes that I was kind of wondering myself because those are kind of really a bit crazy. Um, but everyone, that is it. Now, we got it got down before 10 minutes, which is kind of cool. We got that critical before I, I guess I, I died on the screen right there. Yeah, <laughs> you passed me in gameplay. But everyone, if you're new to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe. And this will be live tomorrow, so we're still going to have a little bit of the bugs out there. So I know if you're part of that list, this is going to be a fun thing to take a look and go like, yes, I can test this out and see if it is. But leave a comment down tomorrow. If you're watching this, if you already left a comment, I would definitely like to hear the follow-up for as far as what the community has to hear for Watch Dogs. Cheers, everyone. Happy holidays. Stay safe. Be happy. And just... 
don't lose hope. We all got this. 2021, here we come. Yeah, that New Year's is going to be fun. But for as far as the staycation portions of updates, this is what's going to be fun for me coming down to the portion of continuing update. I, I have so many more after this. Like, I think there's Godfell and then there's a controller update for the PlayStation 5. I'm always doing a whole bunch of stuff. Eventually, I will get to some gameplay and that will be fun. But I'll see you there, everyone.